Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to mine on a gaming laptop. But before doing that, you need to download a few programs to help you uh, start this process. So the first thing we'll need is the MSI Afterburner. Okay, so just Google MSI Afterburner. And you get to the web page. So basically what this uh, software does is it allows you to monitor the temperature of your GPU as well as change the setting on the GPU either to overclock it or underclock it and stuff like that. So go to downloads and download the MSI Afterburner. So after downloading, it will appear on your desktop like that. Just uh, double click it. It should appear soon. Yes, over here. So over here you see the MSI Afterburner and it actually displays the properties of your graphics card. So for laptop, the power limit and temperature, temperature limit is actually disabled uh, so that the, the manufacturer has done that so that the users do not tamper with it and uh, damage the laptop. However, we can still change the core clock and the memory clock which affects the performance of the graphics card. So for me, I have actually underclocked my core clock and memory clock to be minus 400 each so that uh, it reduces the power and uh, heat when mining. You can actually ex uh, experiment at your own and adjust the core clock and the memory clock according to your preference and it will affect the profit profitability of mining. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to have a the nice hash uh, miner itself. So just Google nice hash miner first link. So for myself, I'm using a GTX 1060 Nvidia. So I'll be uh, I'll be uh, downloading uh, I'll be downloading the AMD nice hash miner legacy anyway because uh, this works for both types of the graphic card. Okay. So after downloading this, uh, it should appear on the desktop like this. Okay, so just double click it. And the first time you launch this program, it will start to download uh, a lot of uh, the minor program, minor software. Uh, do not be alarmed because uh, it will. It is actually a multi-algorithm miner that allows you to mine, that, that will automatically mine a different algorithm based on the profitability. That's why it's downloading so many miners. So after all the downloads of the miners is done, uh, what you need next is a Bitcoin at wallet address. So to get this, you need to go to uh, nice hash and create a new account. So after creating, then you can go to your dashboard and from there you can get your wallet address, click the wallet and this is my wallet address. So I'll just have to copy and uh, paste it here. So basically what this does is it allows your mining profits to go into this wallet. So you can see for me, uh, I have a 0 0.0162 Bitcoin in my NiceHash wallet before the mining. So after this is done, the next step you need to get do is to uh, benchmark your GPU. So what benchmark does is it makes your GPU perform under a certain algorithm and measures the speed. So you will be ticking all the algorithms to uh, make sure that you benchmark everything. Okay. Then after benchmarking, benchmarking will take around, uh, for me it took around 10 to 20 minutes. And after benchmarking, you will come out with all the speed for each of the algorithm. And from the speed, you will estimate the earnings per day. So for example, new script earns me around 0 0.00019563 Bitcoin per day, while uh, the Dagger Hashimoto earns me a 0 0.00012283. So from here, the program will calculate the best, uh, most profitable uh, algorithm and mine based on that. And so after your benchmark is completed, you just, all you have to do is click start. Sorry. I think some of the benchmarking is not required. Yep. Press start. Okay. So now you will start mining based on the most profitable 
algorithm which as of now is the new script algorithm so we let it run a bit so from an MSI after burner you can see that uh, it's actually temperatures are actually going up okay let's see maybe there's some problem here okay let's disable new script I think there's some problem here and let's start okay so uh, I'm not too sure it might be because of the underclocking that uh, has some problem with that algorithm but as you can see for this uh, dual mining of Ethereum and Pascal there's no issue it's actually mining now and the temperatures are of the GPU is going up okay so we give you some time to create the DAG files okay so now you see I've actually found my first Ethereum share and Quickly, uh, the program quickly calculates the, the profitability every day. So I'm getting around 190 every day. And um, you can see the temperatures are going up really fast. So uh, just uh, take note of this and it can actually get really hot, like 75 degrees even. And, okay. So we can see we got the first speed of our Ethereum. We are getting around 17 mega hash for Ethereum and Pascal are getting around 170 mega hash okay so actually there's another way to check the general profitability of your gpu so you just go to nice hash profitability calculator and go on to the first link okay so for singapore it's around 20.3 cents per kilowatt and my gpu is 1066 gb calculate so you will get me roughly around 73 sing dollars per day okay which is pretty good sorry per month not per day which is pretty good and from here we can see that uh, sorry this amount here is actually after electricity cost and uh, that's how you get that but you, if you realize that the amount here is actually much lower because I'm actually underclocking my GPU so that it does not produce so much heat okay and if not uh, I hope all of you have an learn something from this video and can uh, start uh, start experimenting crypto mining on your gaming laptop and i hope you all enjoy this video thank you